I mean, uh, yeah, he's great. And Colin's like, Bob's a, a, like a techno bully where like you'll ask him for help and he'll help you. But he's like, what are you, stupid? Come here, dummy. Like, he just has to bully you while he's helping right. you. Yeah. Colin like is the so tech guy in the office. Good. Yeah, I hate yeah. those uh. fuckers. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Bob does fuckers. do that. Speaking of Voss, uh, Coke Logic's video, it's all over the place. It's one of the ones you can download from iTunes. Yes. And we're, uh, we've are we been number one as far as uh, video podcasts uh, being downloaded, which oh, is good. pretty cool. But uh, he's got the one up there with Rich Voss talking about how there were no flavors, what, until eight years ago or yeah, something? Five, five, five years, years ago. Yeah. When did flavor out? come out? He, he'd had a whole discussion, and he was trying to convince us all there were no flavors until five years ago. Like in potato like, chips. Like mostly potato chips. Like uh, only five years ago, uh, you could start getting different types of potato chips. And we're yeah. looking at him like, you're you're insane. Yeah. Where do you live? <laughs> But this lack of knowledge. <laughs> he's a dumb guy. And, and that's the... <laughs> it's, it's like, and I, love, I really love Voss. He's one of my closest friends. Yeah, he's a great man. And he, he might really be my is. closest confidant. Yeah. But he's a, he's just a stupid man. And yeah. it's, it's almost like I didn't realize... As years went on, I didn't realize how fucking dumb he was. Yeah. Yeah, you, you initially think it's some kind of put on. Because, it has to be. Because you're like, no, no. There's no right. way... You can be this stupid and no. walk the earth. You know how you know? You can tell he's also at peace with himself. Yeah, he doesn't even... There is a little bit of peace with the man. He doesn't care yeah. that well, he's, he's stupid. Yeah. Well, he used to blow drug dealers for drugs. I mean, well, you know, <laughs> after you get to that point... I think else, he just dressed I, sexy everything for Everything else is gravy. <laughs> That's what he said. He had a drugs. Yeah, I did yeah. a little drugs, too. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. You liked your drug days? <laughs> I, was, uh, I did heroin. That was my thing. Wow. Really? Yeah, and everybody... That's, like, so fascinating <laughs> to people. I never smoked pot. I didn't really drink. Well, that's fucked up. Heroin they was say. my gateway heroin drug. Heroin was your stepping stone. That was my gateway drug <laughs> to heroin. You're supposed to start off slow and get to heroin. No, nope. didn't supposed do to that. Jump right into no, it. No, went right to the heroin. How wow. does that work? Wait a I minute. Just, I, you might be the first person I've ever yeah. met that went right to heroin. I grew up around it. There was a lot of heroin dealers in my neighborhood, and uh, but they were probably pot dealers too. They weren't dealing nickel bags of heroin. They were dealing pounds of it. You know, they so were how big, old were you? Fifteen when I did it first. When what, I started were you snorting. Yeah, I started snorting, and then then they sh they told me how to shoot it. All right, shooting. Did you good. have your own works? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I had my own works, and uh, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> it was great. Heroin uh, was the best. You're insane. I can't tell. I'm, not, wait, wait, I, I'm off of drugs I now. I mean, all right, nine, but I'm I off of drugs nine years. I don't want to fast forward. So you're 15. I'm never going to say heroin sucks. Like people say it's like you never, Dude. if you never tried it, Dude. it's like having your dick sucked and a puppy licking your nose at the same time. <laughs> Try to imagine, the, right? You yeah. know the beauty of that. But, but reverse the participants. No, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no and then, then the girl bites your dick off and kills the puppy. But still, <laughs> you wake up the next day and go, I want to do that again. But dude, at 15, I was scared to like like yeah. drink half a beer like how does it how does it go through your head that at 15 i'm gonna try heroin i don't get that i had a cast on my arm oh from my okay. father hitting me with a baseball bat Ooh. so like that's the Is kind that of shot yeah i swear to god so why'd he hit you I, okay, why not he, he why broke, didn't he? he broke my arm with a baseball bat i don't think there is any why but what'd you do wrong in his eyes? What could I have done? Kill the fucking my oh, little baby brother? I understand that, but there was a reason why. You, you sound like a therapist that wants me to fucking Fuck stay you sick. with that therapist shit. Talk to him. No, no, <laughs> Jimmy plays the mumbo jumbo. He's, like, he's, he's pushing me goal. towards like blaming myself for being beaten. <laughs> <laughs> is what I'm saying. My father you broke brought my it fucking on, arm on OB. yourself. No, he wants to, he no really but wants what to was the reason? You should be a rape counselor. Dude. What were you wearing? <laughs> Dude, I'm a, I'm gonna relate to you. I, not with broken bones, but like my mom. Mom would yell and scream when I was a kid. Over Same the, thing as over the with a most bat. stupidest shit. What he's saying. So is what this. I'm no. saying is All there right. was some reason why he did. It, Honestly, it's not going to make sense. But what, what was his you left, reason? You left your sneakers on the floor. What what dumb thing did I, you do? I don't remember. I swear okay. to God. Like he, right. my father was just a violent dude. He was a violent guy. Uh, you know, we grew up in violence. I live right across the street from a numbers store where my father hung out, card games, all wise guys. It was just, that's how I grew up. Hitting kids was normal, but, like, he would overdo it. And he'd fucking... So, no, no, you asked me about shooting the dope, but right, so I you scared. got the arm on your cast. Yeah, yeah, my fucking arm's broken from my father, so I you know, I mean, there's so much pain, mental anguish that's fucking sticking a needle in my arm. It's not the needle that hurt. It's what you're going to get when you hit the plunger. That's why you do it. 
It hurts for a second. It's a pinch, but then the blowjob ensues. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, the puppy. The, all of a <laughs> but, sudden, mommy loves you, and everything's wonderful. So you grab the be- uh, oh. at fifteen. You start snorting it from who? I just neighborhood guys. Just some dude How, older. Yeah, a little bit older than me. I grew up. I'm, I'm from Throg's Neck. You know, you ever, you've heard of it. Throg's Neck. Sure, they the got Bronx. a bridge there. I know the yeah, bridge. Yeah, the bridge. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's actually a neighborhood below that fucking thing. Yeah, no, the whole. It's all. Uh, Isn't that just part of Queens? You know, there's a lot of guys from Harlem there that grew up in Harlem. Italians, they were ha- drug dealers, heroin dealers. You know, so there was a lot of heroin in the neighborhood. So I just, I tried it. It was, you know, and I liked it. What did you get the first time out of it? You throw, I threw up like an animal. Blech, like sick, but no, but, and you want to die. But then when you stop throwing up and the, the drug does its thing, you're like, that was so worth it. <laughs> I want more, you know? <laughs> wow. No, it's a great, it's a, you know, that's why people tell, I get paid, I actually. When was well, the next time you did it after that? The next day. <laughs> yeah. just, it, you were done. He I was started hooked, his I was career. hooked in a week. I was, a, I was, yeah, wow. I was hooked in like a week. I, w- I had a habit. Like I had to have it every day. What did you, what did you do to get it? Uh, nothing like Voss did. I've never. What was the worst should, thing you did to get it? The worst thing I did. Uh, Robbing people? Breaking in the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Robbing people. Uh, I brought, yeah, B&E's, Ray <laughs> uh, Trying to think of statute of limitations. <laughs> yeah, I think you're past it. <laughs> I want to notice some crimes. <laughs> I think you're all right. No, I did. We did, st- you know, we did things. I, and my fam, my brother is a criminal, so, like, I, I, I would hang with him and do crime, like, things. And he was not on drugs, so... I would get the the drugs, <laughs> you know. He we would do stuff. <laughs> so all right, you snorted for how long? Bad things, uh, maybe a couple of years, and then you went to the needle. Yeah, the why? Needle. Because you I needed a better rush. Needle. It's economics, man. You sniff ten bags of dope, or you shoot two bags. What would you? You know what I mean? Mm. You just do it. That's that's the philosophy of it. Yeah, it, it's a mess. I was eighteen. I was on methadone. I was over at the the methadone clinic. Uh, I used to get off at the train at the fucking York Hospital, the same stop as Hunter College. So I'd be on the train with all these kids that were my age. They were going to college. I was going to get my methadone. <laughs> it was a mess, you know? And then I went to rehab and started getting clean. I got clean for a few years. I relapsed again on and off for 20 years. And finally, nine wow. years ago, I stopped. That was it. What about the tattoos? I never, I never realized you had so many tattoos. I just got a, several of them. What are the Asian ones? Uh, Tibetan. This is, uh, I'm actually, uh, I actually, I'm into Buddhism, if you could believe it, except for the non-violence <laughs> part. I don't go for that whole non-violence <laughs> shit, Anthony. That's, uh, I think that was like the, one of the cornerstones of the Buddhist religion. They say, yeah, is non-violence. non-violence. Yeah, but other like than being that. A Christian, except for the whole Jesus thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Weren't you violent just a week ago no, with no. Marty the animal? <laughs> no, I wasn't violent. I was definitely not a good Buddhist, though. Mike, I like you, man. Yeah, I, I tried. Why, and right yeah, under why, Buddha is Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, look, this was from 20 years ago. My friend Anthony died when we were kids. And uh, when he died, I got the Jesus thing because that's the Bronx, you know, Italian thing. And then, you know, I got here and now on my wrists so I don't forget to fucking stay in the moment, try to live in the moment because I'm always all over the place. <laughs> uh, and that's about it. This is a Tibetan prayer. You sure? <laughs> Yeah, no, it is. It's so money pod me home. It's a great thing. I, do. Huh? I, I really do. I, I really meditate and shit, believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might, it's, it might no, I'm not good at that. it. <laughs> You're not good at it. Oh, I'm really? Trying. Oh, I'm trying, buddy. <laughs> I'm trying. I've been through a lot, you know what I mean? So I'm And trying. you were funny the whole time? I don't think I... When I was on heroin, I wasn't that funny. But, <laughs> you know, when I got into rehab and all, I started developing a sense of humor. Uh, Mike's a funny guy. Like you, like one. Of the, it's like it's almost like you can tell by talking to a guy if he's a funny guy in the neighborhood and just a fun guy. Like, sure. Shit talk. It's like it's like uh, yeah. It's like Keith Robinson. I raised. I talk about him yeah. a lot, but you know, like Keith is just a shit talker yeah. in a funny way. Yeah, he's, he's fun. Ah, shut up. He's yeah. just like one of those guys that it doesn't have to be a punchline. Just like yeah. I enjoy talking to this guy. Yeah. Uh, the technicality of being a stand-up is starting to get into me, but I was always funny. I think I always had people laughing. You know what I mean? Um, so you'd be jail funny, like you'd be yeah. funny in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no but doubt. That's a good thing. No Mike doubt. Would, Mike would make guys in jail laugh. Yeah, yeah. That, that's how I survived my life through jokes. I really did. Like I was yeah. never, you know, um, 
like, I got a lot of friends that are tough, you know, like tough guys, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And they love me because of my sense of humor, not because I'm tough or any of that shit, you know what I mean? Right, right. So I'm like this guy that, that survived the, the neighborhood, and I'm very loved by a lot of people that are, you know, tough guys, like wise guys, like real street guys, and, but they like me because of my sense of humor, they want me around. Yeah. So it's fun, you know, it's always, that's been my, my thing. Wow. Yeah, it's that's a, a hell of a story, man. Oh, it's nothing, bro. I can fucking forget it. That ain't shit. Go figure. Another yeah. fucked up comic. I know. <laughs> Another no, comic I, that just has a fucking <laughs> fucked past. But yeah, it's the way you relate to it, though, isn't it? Though, because everyone's got a fucked past, but they're still they're dysfunctional and they still yeah. living it. I'm not really living it. I got anger, you know, stuff like that that's coming out now. Yeah. But I'm not really like that. When was the last time you hit somebody? It's been a while, like a, a couple of months. <laughs> like a couple of months? The one That hot thing, that was the last time, the thing at the comedy club with a guy. But honestly, the guy was swinging right at my face. I, I, I got him before he got so me. You don't have to I was me. guilty of being quicker than him. That was yeah. it. Man, there I'm, was no... My, I'm, I'm with you with yeah. the anger thing. I, I slammed some guy's uh, you know leg with the cab door uh, only yeah. Friday. So I'm right. with you, bro. Yeah. I'm it, with you. Yeah. And I know how stupid it is, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Well, because we don't... You know, we're men and we don't... Don't know how to fucking you know deal with with uh, feelings. Right, right. If you get embarrassed, if I you embarrass me, I could kill you. Like that's how bad. <laughs> no, no, yeah? I'm not saying you. I'm just saying like right. that's my trigger. Someone fucking embarrasses me. Like a lot of guys, a lot of comics do the shit talking. Like you were saying, I stay away from it. Not that I'm tough or none. Of, I know myself. One of these guys turn around and say something like cute. I I, I don't know how to take that. Like. You know, we're not that close. Like, if we're really close, then it's all bets are off. But some of them just, you know, there was another, I ain't going to say comics names because that I won't do. But this one comic, I was going to uh, fucking We'll get it out of him in 15 seconds. I know, you can't uh, help yeah. me. He just gets riled up. <laughs> I know. It's like the, Once you get me oh, going. Oh, this comedy club owner. Ah, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to say his name. So Marty, the fucking <laughs> animal that he is. He's not really a what club the comic owner. What comic Whatever. But. Nah, they just uh, run in their fucking mouth. They actually went on the radio. When I got passed at the cellar, this fucking piece of shit was on, like, uh, uh, over at X, the other radio, the other serious, serious thing. He was on the Brewer show, and he was saying, the motherfucker, my Di Tafano got passed at the motherfucking cellar. That shit is bullshit. Really? Yeah, he was a colored fella, if you can hear the, the accent. Yeah, I not know. Yeah, yeah, it was really <laughs> colored. Well veiled fella. So, <laughs> someone called me and told me, oh, this guy's saying this shit. So I just went up to him and said, did you say on the, something about me on the radio? He's like, yeah, man. I said, look, I said, I, I see you bullying a lot of people, but like, I will fuck because he has a fucked up arm, the dude. Oh, that's what I thought you meant. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, no, <laughs> he has a bad. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to. Yeah, no, write the name because I said, want it on. Opie, I said, I'll fucking tie my arm behind my back and I'll fucking punch you to death <laughs> the next time you fucking. Up. And he started bitch oh, like a little girl. Shit. Like a little fucking girl. But that was it. That I was thought you were taking time. on a real black guy. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, a white guy acting black. A wigger. <laughs> well, no, what, why would He's he... an actual black wigger. Why would he... <laughs> why would he a fu- full wigger. Why would he fucking... Uh, Me. Motherfuck you. Why the fuck? I don't know. Maybe jealous. You know what I mean? I, I was don't impressed. Know, I Jim. thought you were taking on a real black guy, man. No, <laughs> I wasn't taking on anybody. That's not the you point. You were taking on the handicap. <laughs> That's not... I know, but sometimes... Look, if a guy with liver disease fucking... Spits in your face, you kick him in the fucking stomach. You know what I mean? <laughs> what are you gonna do? You, you do go for the weakness. I'm not. It's got nothing. That's to how do. you're taught. Go right. for the weakness. Exactly. I'm with you. Me and you are on the same page. Bro. I'm not really like that, though. That's not what I'm trying to say. <laughs> We're gonna bring it out of you by eleven o'clock. He's gonna beat the shit out of this. No, I don't want it. That's what I'm saying. I hate that. I can hear the panic in your voice. You're trying to convince us that you're not like that, but I think right below the surface, you're like that. No, I'm a good dude, man. Are you married? What no. No, Kids. my wife died. What? <laughs> you ask questions, I'm going to answer them, and we're going to the show can go off in a whole other direction. I don't care. What, I, I'm, I'm, not everything has to be funny. I don't show. know if I ever told you that. My, I was married. Uh, my wife. We were clean. We got off drugs, and uh, she got sick with the uh, hepatitis, and and oh yeah, and uh, she died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Jeez, Mike. Any other questions? <laughs> wow. Boy, you really uh, want people not... to come to your comedy show, yeah. huh? Dude, no. Wow, the laughs will ensue. This is what I do, Sorry, man. Sorry, but... Uh, no, she's, it was a long time. I mean, it's, you know, it's like 12 years now. It's been she, a while. She died 12 years ago? Yeah. She How died long were you 95, married? Five, uh, six years. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was did my you know girl. she was going to die, or was it? Yeah, I knew she got set after a couple years. I knew she was she was ill, and I... Uh, and they couldn't turn this around? Nah, nah. Once you, you have shed all kinds of shit, forget it. It was she, she ended up with a lot of uh, uh, lung damage and shit from pneumonias. It was oh. horrible. Huh? Yeah, but no, dude. You know, it, listen. This is what makes me who I am. This is why I'm the way I am. And 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 this is what makes me a good comic. You know, at least a good comic. You know, or somebody that the people know they're listening to something. They're not just fucking hearing. I just got to write notes. You know, jokes that are from somewhere else. Never. You know, it's coming from inside. Like. You know, the pain. Let yeah. Me, let me just write this note. Never have Mike right. on again. <laughs> oh, jeez. He might actually kill somebody. No. <clears throat> somebody. Has... Mike's a sweet boy. You got any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to share, man? I mean, you're doing good so far. Um, no, Fuck, we would have blown off the goddamn, uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader if we knew you had this shit coming out of you. <laughs> See? <clears throat> Try to tell you. Some tragedy in there, huh? It's so it's not a big deal. Like Jesus. everyone, yeah, but so well, what? It's kind of a big deal. It's not. You know what? It shouldn't be a big deal to lose your wife. That's no, a no, biggie. that's a biggie for me. But it shouldn't be a big deal to talk about it. That's why you know. Oh, I don't. I'm no, no, not uncomfortable. Opie, even in some ways, that's why this country, this shit you were saying before, how we're all fucking weak because there's no. People don't want to look at nothing. They want to, these little fucking douche babies. These young kids with that stupid look of hope walking around like, ooh, <laughs> everything's going to work out. It's not, you little douchebag. Stupid bag. look of hope. Yeah, huh? yeah. It's an, because it's unreasonable. There's, it's unreasonable. Yeah. There's no hope out there. There is hope, but it's hope. But you're going to suffer, you motherfucker. Yeah. And the hope is that you get through it. I, Not that you avoid it. I do laugh yeah. when I hang out with like uh, like high school kids. You know, within you know the family. Look at these guys. They're what the fuck are we doing? We wanted no. to see tits and no, no, people no. farting. <laughs> uh, I do laugh when Sorry. when you do talk to kids that are still in high school and they have such dreams and you're like. You have no fucking idea. It's not going to happen this the, the way you want. I had a friend, Joe, in high school, and we were graduating high school in our senior year. He said, this is going to be the best year of our life. And I didn't understand it at the time, but he knew. He just knew yeah. that it just gets so bad after high school for many, many years. And then maybe some of this hope does turn around for you and yeah. you do become successful. It's something you want to get into or whatever. But all these uh, high school kids with the dreams of being the heart doctor and being an astronaut and I'm going to yeah. be on the Olympic team. And God bless you. I think everyone should have dreams. I certainly had my own dreams when I was growing up. But yeah. the reality is, is what you just said, that there's going to be fucking hell in many years where you don't even know where the fuck you're going in your life. How are you going to pay your bills? Right. Another chick breaking your heart. All this shit. They have <laughs> no idea in high school. It's all just it's easy. Yeah. You know, they bitch about uh, a test or something or writing a paper. Who gives a shit? Yeah. That shit is easy compared yeah. to real life. Here, here's the pain. Deal with it. Then you'll have hope. Dude, people... That's my point. Then you'll have hope. Not You don't make it up as you... Ooh, it's going to be perfect. I'm gonna, the American dream. The American dream is fucking... You work hard when you're young, and then you spend the rest of your life protecting your fucking money, <laughs> and then you die alone, and your kids are home managing their portfolios because that's what you taught them to fucking do. To make money, you know, and it's all, and, and then some retarded guy with fucking Down syndrome is happy every day. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. It's good to see you. Yeah, they have no worries. Yes, yeah, right. Because <laughs> they're missing all the shit that makes the rest Actually, of us I learned, I learned that lesson a while ago. I don't, I don't feel sorry for, for people like that no. whatsoever. Because they, they have no clue. They're just happy. Ignorance They're is happy bliss. in their fucking yeah. skin. They're simple. Dude, we had a guy that delivered mail at NAW. I, I tell a story every once in a while, but it's one of my favorite stories. And he he uh, he grew attached to me for whatever reason. And uh, one day, I'm feeling that way too. Though <laughs> I feel that way too. Well, Jimmy kind of brought yeah. it up yesterday. There is a there is a sweetness to me that I don't allow it to come out often. Yeah. But uh, he kind of he kind of felt that maybe because they have like that retard like uh, extra intuition intuition or or an extra sense. I don't know. And people around the office, what was that? Piece of paper. 
Why? I just flicked it. I meant it to go over there, oh. and it just missed your head. <laughs> uh, people uh, around the office are like, you should take him to lunch. You know, every, we take turns taking him to lunch so he feels part of like the workplace and stuff. Right. And I'm like, how, how bad could this be? I'll take him to lunch. We'll talk about the Mets. He's a Mets fan, and we'll, and, and we'll, we'll make pictures with crayons on the fucking <laughs> menus or whatever, right? So we bring him down. To, I bring him down to the Brooklyn Diners, just me and him. And uh, the waitress comes over, and she had big tits. And the kid, who doesn't look like he's slow, by the way, is just staring at the tits to the mm -hmm. point where I, I, I wanted to fucking hide. Because mm -hmm. he, he doesn't understand. To him, it's tits, right. and it's the greatest right. day of his life. He's getting a free lunch and looking at tits. Yeah. And that's all he knew. No and manipulation. All he, cared about. he doesn't give he a shit. He didn't try to manipulate but it and hide it. The waitress is getting pissed, ready to tell this guy off. And I'm just like, oh, my God. And I can't tell the waitress that he's a little slow, and that's why he's looking at your tits. Hey, he's retarded. But, Leave him alone. But getting back to your point, that's his life. Yeah. He's happy. Yeah, He's simple. not worried about, you know, getting a promotion. He was happy delivering the mail uh, all wrong, by the way, to the wrong mailboxes. Yeah. But, you know. We, seeing tits for us isn't enough. We have to tie her up, <laughs> right. punch her in the back of the head. You know, there's all kind of, we need extra shit. Yeah. It's not enough to just look at them and enjoy them. <laughs> but, no, it's true. Like, they're very simple people. Right. Simple people. Give hey. chocolate milks the meaning of life. Yeah. He's fucking, and, at, you know. Yeah. And Craig from Scranton, PA, well. Oh, oh, what about you? You made it, dude. So why can't other kids dream too? That's the only thing that keeps you going. I said that we all should have dreams, yeah. but you should. There's a reality to it too. It's not as easy as you think it is when you're 17, 18, 19, 20 years old. It's not about. Dude, the, I've been yeah. doing radio since I was 18. I was only successful uh, seven years ago. Right. And and I, but but you stuck. You st you stood with it. I, I the point is these kids are walking around thinking it's all going to be great. Well, the people that know my timeline in radio, I was.